Hi, parents of our Aquarius children. Thank you so much for watching uh, Parental Guidance. I really appreciate uh, every time you guys tune in. Um, it means so much to me because it lets me know that um, this is something, one, that you value, two, that you desire to see more of. So every month and time that you guys tune in, it, it just continues to affirm um, the need to make these videos. Um, on a more consistent basis if I could <laughs> but anyway um, the overall theme that I'm getting for your Aquarius little one is they're on this quest in this journey of understanding and utilizing their uh, like esoteric and things of that nature and it's almost like they need to go on this path to understand and know that they had it right the first time Sometimes we need to like ebb and flow to appreciate where we are. And I feel that that's more so what's the message that I'm getting. Again, I have to say this is a general read. I am not a mind reader. Um, I'm only interpreting the cards based on how I perceive them and then sharing the message that I Feel I'm getting with you for you to decide if that is for you or not uh, ultimately only you know the full message for yourself and this is just more of a compliment and a form of insight of something to consider as you go about your journey so your child and Aquarians are just so awesome to me they're like their own little person um, they have the polar bear in the upright and this this polar bear, if you can see it, they just they they're connected with the sky. They're doing their own thing. They know who they are. They're going about it their own way. It's just like I know who I am. Leave me alone, you know. So it speaks of power, wisdom, peace, uh, going about it their way in a manner that they understand. Um, and I'll give you a moment to pause that so you can read it. But they're like the the drummer of their own beat. Um, their energy, they have this beautiful awakening card, this amber, um, awakening their, their creativity, this vibrancy. So I feel like illuminations, um, insight, intellect. Uh, Aquarians are uh, air signs, so they rule, you know, again, it's an area of the mind. But... Um, just again the manifestation and, and and just increasing this this awareness the challenge this month is they have this beautiful and i want to try to say it correctly L labradorite i think that's how it is labradorite card and i love it how you know even in what appears to be darkness it looks like there's a ray of light or maybe it's just a reflection but it's like to me it feels like a cave and being in this dark recess of a cave but there's like an opening and light is coming through um, for a breakthrough and this card this card speaks of telepathy um, communication prophecy or as energy so it's like your child is in their element they're in this very spiritually rich and growing uh, time like of intensity and vibration and they're they're manifesting things they are they're in tune with the need for um, just increasing their vibrancy for abundance. Like they are expanding. It says, um, I am a limitless uh, being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. And that's what they're doing. It's just like they're in a healthy spiritual way, conjuring up and gathering up um, this positive energy um, in a, a huge mass, um, you know, for this month. So they may have, uh, they may have some issues. Their concern is, um, or what's the challenge is being able to, to see clearly or hear clearly, um, to read the nuances of people, their intuition, they may have challenges with that, um, auras, energy, things of that nature. So that may be things that are presenting uh, a, a struggle for them or some level of resistance. 
But nevertheless, with this mood of expansion and, and positivity, they're moving forward with courage. Um, you know, the, this is their goal is just to remain courageous in the midst of everything. And I feel that that's what they're doing. They're just manifesting that. Now, in the month of March, this first week, um, they have the Observer card in reverse. And maybe they're too close to something to be able to see it clearly. Maybe they need to provide, you know, to create some distance from something so that they can see something clearly. Just want to get some clarity before I move on. It, it could speak to being stuck. It could be, um, you know, not seeing some, they're maybe hyper-focused on one thing that they can't see um, what else is going on around them. Um, but in the second week, it's like this awareness to link up with like-minded people or people that support them are um, will be gathering around them. They will be surrounded by people who have the same mindset as them in the second week. Something revolving around community, communication, uh, like-minded people, feeling spiritually connected, feeling secure in that connection. Um, those are all things. Like again, this says um, being seen and understood by others, a sense of family and friendship, knowing your place in the world. So like I said, a level of security um, the second week. Now, in the third week, I don't know what happens. I don't know if there is some kind of um, upset. I don't know if it's related to this or not. I don't know if this is in a, an external group, if it's at school or something like that. But they have um, chaos and conflict the third week. And the only reason why I'm concerned is only because I'm looking at the, the card for uh, the week after. But this is disarray. Um, being at cross purposes with another and tension of opposites, the value of chaos before order. Um, I do not feel that this is chaos within the self. I feel that this is um, an external person, probably a classmate. I feel that this is more of a peer. And somehow this person, I don't, it could be the group that they just linked up with, or it could be somebody that they have to deal with at school. Um, and it creates such an upset or it's such a, like they're riled and it, it's uh, an unsettling like situation that has them on guard. Um, but just, uh, like it just, mm, a feeling of like unrest, chaos. Not not destruction, but just something is not, there's something changing. Conflict, disagreement, something that challenges their, their peace and their emotional stability. Let's see if I can get anything else. That This is challenged. This new thing, that this new harmony, this new gathering... This is challenged. And I'm seeing like how the, the cards are somewhat similar. Oh my gosh, this is a group. Look at that. Okay, so this is, this is, take this with a grain of salt. So I feel like this is the group. There's harmony and uni unity. And then for some of you, I feel like somebody in the group already they were an imposter, they had ulterior motives. And so it's like their true colors are starting to show. And because your child is like, no, that's not right. That's where the conflict and the, the chaos comes from. The person doesn't like that they've been exposed and called out for who they truly are. It's like, no, you're a liar. You're a zebra. You're not a giraffe. What are you doing here? You know, you don't, it's not like they're isolating them and saying that they're that they don't belong, but um, your child, I feel like, is standing up and and calling this person out, and that's where the 
the attack on their character comes from. And it, it's, it upsets your child, not like sadness, but just like anger and righteousness. Like, no, I'm right. You're in the wrong. So, and then this is happening. It's like a shadow time. Clouds here, you know, and then it's like dusk. Both, both of these, sim like at nighttime, both of these, it's like desolate sand and, you know, the heat of day. And then as, you know, night is starting to fall, the truth is coming out, okay? So just keep that in mind. I just caught that, and I was like, wow. For some of you, that may be what it is. So just keep that in mind. Like I said, let me know in the comments how that plays out. It really helps me to understand um, when you guys are able to share your stories um, so I can know what's what's happening, you know, so I, how I can, so I can better support you. But finally, in this last week, they have the orphan card in reverse. And I just feel like your child is like, you know, to heck with this person. They, they are putting distance. They are not being left behind. I feel like they are walking away. They're choosing to, no, no, I'm going to do my own thing. And, um, you know, again, I'm not saying that this is the truth but I'm just catching on that all four of these cards have like almost like the same yet yeah, almost the same image in them they do see the cards at the top so this tells me that this this situation is all linked it may not be for some but I really feel that this there's a consistency in this message that all of these are linked and this is a turning point see how this one is illuminated versus the others this is a turning point for your child it's like light bulb something went off and switched and now it's not that that light bulb is dimming but it's like okay i'm coming back to center now you know like i was i was at center i ventured out there was a switch and now that switch is diminishing and i'm coming back to my center if that makes sense um that's really cool. So just, again, I just want to share it with you because that's what came up. And take it with a grain of salt. If it's for you, um, let me know. I'd like to hear your thoughts. So let me just check this real quick. Yeah, it's it, and they also could be, um, this card is in reverse. They also could be struggling with, do I leave? But I ultimately feel like the, the strength within them won't allow them to do it. You know, I like the power and the peace, the strength within your your child. They're like, no, I'm not going to stay in that. I'm I'm better. I deserve better. Um, this this also could be. Let me see. I'll read a little bit more of this. Um, it says you feel the you feel the need to remain apart because intimacy is too threatening. So maybe they abandon the group. Um, it also warns against against creating inappropriate family structures to conceal a wound so like taking something on to to hide the whatever happened you know so it's like let's say this is girl scouts or something and you know one of the other girl scouts did them wrong and instead of them breaking away they'll just play it off like it didn't happen and and take that on for themselves and it's like no don't do that so it's like it's also time to address the unhealthy alliances you formed to make a decision to heal the past. You will not be abandoned by the world if you claim yourself as whole. Not all relationships are dysfunctional and not all of them will disappoint you. Um, I don't really see your child abandoning themselves. This is going to hurt whatever this is, but I also see them reclaiming their power and saying, you know what, I don't like this, I'm done. Nope, sorry. Um, what's changing is the happy memories are behind them. Um, so this could be, I don't think this is just specific to this particular event. I think that this is just them growing up and evolving. You, they, this instance has helped them to grow up. It's like, okay, this is who I used to be. This is what I like to do. But, but this situation here, this illumination has taught me that I want, I'm going to, you know, leave my good memories of my childhood behind. I'm going to move on to the next thing because, um, it's time. And they have the solution is they have the communicating communicate with your angels card in reverse. Um, it says you have the ability to connect with beings of love who surround you. 
communicate with your angels and deliver their healing messages to others. Um, I feel that this is more introspective. I feel that, yes, there is a level of communication with the divine, but this is more of a healing thing within them. Um, they're just staying to themselves. There's no desire to, like, go out and socialize or, you know, whatever. And it, even though this, it, this message seems bittersweet, I really feel that this is, like, divine um, in, in their growth. So it sounds sad, but I'm, I'm really like, yeah, this is, this is a growth month for them. Again, beautiful card, how you can help them is just to show your affection, you know, be there, encourage them, love on them. It says, love yourself. You are the ultimate act of creation fashioned by the hands of the, of a divine artist or the divine artist, as I like to say. Um, but anywho, um, shower your child with affection, shower yourself with affection, love yourself, love your child, just, you know, be a cycle, um, or not a cycle, but create a cycle of, of love and reciprocity and affection, but be, be this, this wellspring that takes away from, um, you know, this wound here, but it's like, it be the wellspring that diminishes the focus on this here so that they can get back to themselves. And for you, I feel the sense, it's like, ah, uh, how can I say this? I mean, right off the bat, I feel like you're just saying no to BS. I feel like you're like, you're not buying all of this, this uh, legal structure, these rules, I, I feel like you're aware of the deception of, you see the, the fallacy, but you, you also recognize, you're aware, okay, let me say it this way. You are aware of the good things that, um, you know, man-made ideas have brought to the table. And this isn't necessarily just with religion, but it's some kind of man-made structure. You see the good in it, but you also see the hypocrisy. And you are tired of it, you're not feeling it, and you have created a plan within yourself to kind of overturn this structure in your immediate environment. Now, although you are courageous and you yourself are bold, and I'll give you a moment to read that if you can. I really do not see you going out. I don't see you, this is not an active, um, I can't think of the word right now, but you are not actively going out to change this. You're going to do it behind the scenes. You have to, you recognize that you have to be like secretive. You have to do it in an undermining, indirect manner. You have to um, proceed um, with a level of secrecy. Like you are bold. You are actively um, pursuing it, but with caution, with uh strategy, things of that nature. So let me know how this resonates with you in the comments. I really appreciate that. It means so much to me to know um, how this is affecting uh, families. And again, I appreciate you watching every time that you do. Uh, thank you again and have a great month. We will see you again in April. Take care and be safe.